I had a conversation with a man who was referred to as the future of America. He is a young man who can be the future attorney general, the future director of the FBI, the future secretary of defense, or the future president. They consider him to be the future of the United States. We had a conversation over the phone. I was really shocked by his remarks. He asked me, Miles, people are dying every minute of every day now. If we prove that it was the CCP who released COVID-19, do we only ask the CCP for hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars? I said, what do you want from the CCP? He said, we want the CCP's lives for compensation. Through the great trial? He said, that's not possible. He said, I remember something you told me two years ago. What the CCP fears the most is taking down firewalls, and secondly, they're afraid of confiscating the assets of their children abroad. He said, we have to do it now. We're not going to wait until we are talking about money compensation, which is only a small part of this. Wow. I've noticed he's grown a lot over the last two years. Don't you agree? So, my dear fellow whistleblower movement fighters, this demonstrated the significance of the rule of law foundation. What does the rule of law foundation do? It is legal. It is legit. I, Miles Gua, can't do whatever I want here in the US. The chairman of the rule of law foundation and society are Americans. They are Americans. We are not, right? Don't get me wrong, fellow fighters. It's asking for $190 billion. This is an official Rose Garden statement, that is, a presidential statement. I've heard that the people around the president are so angry. This has enormous significance. I saw some fellow fighters who were aware of the significance while live broadcasting. Brothers and sisters, that's no joke. Not at all. So, the penalty clause is $20 trillion. It's close, but it could be higher or lower. It's about the right number. Secondly, the US has now started a united new generation, called the future United States. These people want to seize the assets of the illegitimate children of high-ranking CCP leaders. And I suggest that the U.S. Supreme Court issue a court order to these big companies to account for all their transactions with the CCP over the years, including their communication records. In this, they can find out the stolen wealth of Chinese people, which was held in private names and family trusts. They think it's a good idea. It's a good idea. They are going to do it.